Hey, I just received this box in the mail. I just picked it up. I expect $60,000 worth of gold to be in this unsealed box that I just picked up from UPS Next Day Air. Let's unbox it. Let's take a look at what $60,000 worth of gold looks like. I'll break the seal here shortly. And you know, I went ahead and bought this, which is 30 ounces of gold if they put in there what they're supposed to have put in there, the supplier, APMEX, which stands for American Precious Metals Exchange. I bought this back on March 11th, so quite a while ago. And the reason I bought it then is that was about 24 hours after the first prominent bank failure, after Silicon Valley Bank failed. And I'm sure glad I did because the price per ounce was $1,868 then, and it's over $2,000 now. Anytime there's uncertainty, gold really is the classic hedge. And actually, it's not so much that gold goes up, it's that the dollar goes down in value and gold holds its value. So let me go ahead and open this. Um, yeah, investments you hold. That's really an appropriate moniker. There aren't a lot of investments you can hold anymore. You can't hold real estate, even though it's tangible. You can't very well tangibly hold on to stocks or ETFs or mutual funds. This is kind of a throwback sort of investment here. And um, yeah, we'll just see how this is packaged. We'll see how beautiful this stuff looks. I expect it to be really attractive. There just aren't that many sort of investments that are tangible like this. It doesn't take any sort of login or password to see this. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's see together for the first time. What are we going to see in here? Okay, a bunch of padding. All right, I guess I don't want damaged gold bars. And uh, here we go. Looks like some bubble wrap. Might need some scissors for this. Don't know if a knife is gonna work. It feels like they're all here, okay? Because I got three 10 ounce gold bars and I can kind of feel that there are three here and they are heavy. You'll note that a lot of precious metals have specific gravities of 12 to 20. That means that their density is 12 to 20 times that of the same volume of water. Really dense stuff. I'm gonna get a forearm workout here while I'm opening these up. Yes, here they are. Oh, and they're really beautiful too. Let's take this bubble wrap off. But first we're confirming they sent what they said they would, all three of them. And the reason that I'm only getting them today, even though I ordered them quite a while ago, is they were back ordered because oftentimes gold is back ordered. It gets pretty popular during times of uncertainty, exactly during times like this. So I had to wait for it, but I was able to get my price. You leave your credit card number there when you order so that no one tries to buy it. And then if the price goes down, that they try to get away. So when I bought it, I locked in my price and the price went up and oh yes, oh yes. Take a look at this beauty. This is a 10 ounce Pamp Suisse gold bar. There are three of them here. And I paid a little over $59,000 for these three. This is really beautiful, okay? Pamp Suisse is the brand of the bar, not to be confused with Credit Suisse, one of the other failing banks. And this is called Lady Fortuna and she has the horn of plenty here. Definitely three good looking gold bars. Let me tell you about why I bought this and a little bit more about how much I paid. So like I said, the spot price was $1,868 per ounce, but you pay about 5% over the spot price when you buy. And then when you sell, you usually have to sell it back for less than spot price. So this is for a long-term hold because you need to overcome those spot price differentials when you buy gold. I'm a real estate guy. What am I doing here with gold? Why are we doing a video there? I believe you want to buy what is scarce. What is scarce are things like real estate, gold, and Bitcoin. There's a finite or fixed supply of those things, and you can't just print more of them. Over here with stocks and dollars, you can just print more of them, and there's no limit to how many there are. Another way to say it is I actually didn't buy gold bars in a sense, what I did is I shifted some of my prosperity from dollars into gold. So I like to buy things that are scarce, not abundant. It takes real world resources in order to produce this. It is difficult to exceed an inflation rate of 2% on gold, meaning they don't discover and mine much more than 2% from the previous year. Oftentimes it's less than 2%. It's difficult to make more of 
this stuff. And wealth is not created by buying gold bars in my experience. And in fact, that's the experience of centuries. So why am I buying it? If this is not where wealth is created, this is where wealth is stored. If you already have some wealth, probably through real estate investing, if you are wealthy, maybe you want to diversify into something like this. I'm going to see if there's anything underneath this in a moment, but real estate is the wealth creation vehicle. Gold is a wealth storage vehicle. Bitcoin, it takes proof of work in order to produce more Bitcoin. It takes real world resources like hardware and software and a lot of electricity consumption. Things that aren't easy to make and print. That's what I favor. And it looks like, yeah, there's nothing else in here. I didn't expect it to send me more than the 30 ounces I bought. Yeah, Atmex, American Precious Metals Exchange. They have a good name. APMEX.com is where I bought them. I bought from Atmex before. By the way, if you ever want to track precious metals prices, my favorite app is the Kitco app, K-I-T-C-O. It's good for metals prices. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of all three. You got a really good look at one of the three. You can't quite see the back from here. I'm not going to open this case here. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. It's kind of a spur of the moment thought that I got to help you see what a bunch of gold bars look like. I'm about to take these off to the vault. I'm Keith Weinhold. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.